Welcome out the tallest, the lankiest, and the friendliest guy you'll ever meet, Brady Amonson! They call him the flying Hawaiian David Panikin! He's the original hipster, Adam Brown! And welcome out the guy that looks like every white guy you know, Zach! a blast with you here tonight. My name is Gabe. I'm going to be the host for the evening and all other evenings. Give it up for the game of Rapids! <laughs> all right, how this game works. Two of our improvisers are going to be putting on a scene. At any point during that scene, I'm going to say rap it, and they've got to rap their inner thoughts right then, there on the spot. Uh, give, me a, give me a suggestion of a location or a, or a social gathering that you might find. Bar Mitzvah! Bar mitzvah. <laughs> I think that that is not the right tradition for this. <laughs> you know what? Now that you're a man, we can teach you all sorts of things. Well, I'm ready. I, I don't know a whole lot about bar mitzvahs. Let me read from the good book, What to Expect Through Puberty. Uh, you're you're going to go through a lot of changes, kiddo, and I'm not going to lie. Zach, wrap it. Uh, yeah. Listen, your boy, your body's going through some crazy changes. You're going to go, it's going to get you in the hay. Why is that chest on my ear? Why do my legs be growing? Why is my voice getting low and low and low and low? It's puberty. It's all just a puberty thing. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> it's starting already. Listen, this is the next phase of your life. You get to make big choices. You get to court young ladies. Will I eventually get to a point where I do get to smash a glass cup on the ground? Yeah, during a wedding, not during a Jewish adulthood ritual. <laughs> Oi, has someone been smashing glass at the bar mitzvah? I'm sorry, Rabbi, my son's very confused. Oh, <laughs> and soon enough, I hope that you'll smash that CD as well. That's part of the traditions here? Absolutely, you're 13 years old, it's time to smash what the last generation left behind. <laughs> Adam, oh. rap it! <laughs> Step on that CD, yo! Step it with your shoe! Step on it real tight, yo! Or you know what to do! You gotta snitch, 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 snitch! Drop it real low! Snitch, 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 snitch. Drop it real low! Uh. Very good! Big round of applause for Rap! The, the next game we're going to play for you is the game of Foley! Okay, what I need is uh, two audience volunteers. Sure, you. And give me one more. Yeah, you. You, come on up. Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Very good. Um, give me a title of a movie that doesn't exist. Moon's Last Night? <laughs> Moon's Last Night. <laughs> and what's going to happen is Brady and Zach are going to be doing the actions. However, uh, things that, uh, besides their voice, aren't going to make noise except from our volunteers. Oh, man. This does not look good. Tell me about it. Tell me everything. Hold on. i got to track it. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> My oil can. <laughs> I'm worried about this. If we lose another ounce of pressure, this submarine is going to explode. <laughs> it started already. Sorry, it's just my uh, balloon animal practice. <laughs> Look, we've been in here for a really long time. 
I'm getting so hungry, I can hear my tummy. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so closely after David. I, I ate a live Wolverine, not five minutes ago. <laughs> well, there's only two of us left. There's only one action of recourse to take. <laughs> one of us gets the horse. <laughs> there's only one way to settle this, a back-to-back -back duel. How will I know you're not going to cock the gun and shoot me with it? <laughs> You'll just have to trust me. Boom, boom. I can hear your heartbeat from here. <laughs> you, you foiled me, I have a so, super soaker. <laughs> I know why you got in a submarine. You didn't ever want to get wet. Well, ah. buddy, your shirt looks like it was just sprinkled. So there's only one way to decide. We have to play Russian roulette. Pick a card. It's a card game. Wait a second. This, this ace of spades reminds me of something. We can just open the hatch and go upstairs and see if we can just get out of this thing. Did we forget sorry. Margaret in the other room? No, sorry, the only thing we've had is black beans to eat for a long time. Just uh, slip one past the goalie. You. Hold on, let me climb up the ladder. Okay, there's a hatch here. I'm gonna go ahead and spin the, uh, the hatch wheel thingy. Don't let the velociraptors out, please. I'm gonna take the elevator. Uh, oh, ow. I just killed a seagull when opening the, the hatch. Just give me two seconds, I'll go up to you. Boom. You can't decide what floor it wants. Oh, I'm on top of the submarine, it's beautiful. There's the family of the seagull I killed. <laughs> See you right there, guys, give it up! Uh, we've got another game coming for you right here. This game is the game of Epitaph! Very good, the game of Epitaph works this way. An Epitaph is what you read on a gravestone. Uh, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get uh, people, ideas, items, things from you, our audience, and our improvisers are gonna jump out and they're gonna make a joke based off of that person idea or thing. So over here, uh, give me a person that everybody knows. Ronald McDonald. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Here lies Ronald McDonald. He passed away tragically when his McRibs went through his back. <laughs> here lies Ronald McDonald. And we've buried him with a little prize. Here lies Ronald McDonald. Ba da ba ba ba. He's super dead. Here lies Ronald McDonald. Try not to grimace. That's very good. Uh, give me another. Uh, give me another person. <laughs> Martha Stewart. Here lies Martha Stewart. She went from insider trading to inside degrading. <laughs> here, here lies my, my sweet Martha. She wouldn't want you to know she had an eagle tattooed on her back in prison. <laughs> here lies Martha Stewart. You can get a headstone just like this on our new fall line. <laughs> Very good. Good, give me a... Uh, give me a person. Give me another person. Johnny Cash. Hold on, Martha Stewart and Oprah are the same person. I like Peter Pan, though. Uh, Peter Pan. Epitaph for Peter Pan. Here lies Peter Pan, because he really never did grow up. <laughs> Here lies Peter Pan. Clap all you want, but. <laughs> Here lies Peter Pan. 
You can die, you can die, you can die. Here lies Peter Pan. Peter, first cloud to the right, straight on to heaven. There's a gravestone. What? What? It is you, Peter. <laughs> Give me, uh, give me an idea or a concept. <laughs> the concept of algebra. Here lies algebra. You lived a long life and you died, and still no one ever needed you. <laughs> you got one? Go ahead. Go ahead. Here lies Albert Gerbra. <laughs> Let's cut that. Let's cut that. Uh, good. Uh, give me a, uh, yeah, give me an idea. Avocado toast. Avocado toast. Yeah, yeah. Said the most basic white woman ever. Very good. <laughs> avocado toast. Here lies avocado toast. The toast made more money than the millennial who made it so they can afford the rent for this plot grade. <laughs> That's in a our broken avocado society, toast people. Joke. Think about it. Your generation's not our generation. Let's cut that. Yeah, we're Keep gonna... Albert Gerbra. Yeah. We're... <laughs> uh, give me a. Uh, uh, give me someone from history. I, I, I heard Napoleon. Let's do Napoleon. Here lies Neapolitan. Gosh dang it! I hate spelling errors. <laughs> The next game we're going to play for you is called Carnegie Hall! Very good. How Carnegie Hall works is our three improvisers. Um, do we have the boards up here? I think they're over there. Uh, Being kill time, though. Yeah. Because remember when I talked about avocado toast? See, there's a thing where <laughs> no, no, no. article. Uh, <laughs> Just so you know, when you explain a joke, it doesn't work better. Uh, <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you for that. You should have given that to him three minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> there's a time for jokes, and then there's a time for real social commentary. <laughs> and I like to use my platform. The reason he's not hosting is because we can't trust him with that kind of commentary. Uh, <laughs> Now, uh, these boards are uh, quite elusive. Um, See, a lot of people know that they feel that millennials should give up their you opportunity. Got okay, very good. How this game? I'm going to reintroduce you guys to make it seem like we Al do. is short for Albert. Oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've got another game coming for you right up. This is the game of... <laughs> we've got another game for you. This is the game of Carnegie Hall! The game of Carnegie Hall works this way. Zach is a very talented musical improviser. And what's going to happen is uh, Brady, Adam, and David are going to be writing words on their whiteboard. Uh, at any point when the, the whiteboard turns, Zach is going to have to incorporate that into a song. They're going to rotate through, and he's going to have to use that as, uh, as the lyric in one of his next phrases. So what I need from you is, uh, who here thinks they have a cool job? Website. Yes. What is, you're a property manager. <laughs> uh, uh, explain to me what a proper property manager is. You just make sure that people are paying rent? Okay. That's great. Give me a title to a song that would be about property managers. Late. You're late. More rent. <laughs> you're late. More rent. I got the coolest job in the world. 
Hey, it pays me to say this, but you're two weeks late on payment. I don't want to get in an argument, but if you don't, I'm going to kick you out of your apartment. Yeah, what you don't make this hard, cause I'm going to do a gust card. Hey, what do you think I'm going to pause it? Oh, hey, I'm going to hold on to your deposit. What the heck, what the heck, I'm left to do a credit check. Oh, oh, yeah. What you calling me a liar? I'm not just a property management, I'm a lawyer, Esquire. Oh, I'm just standing there wild, wow, but I'm saying it to you, there's no blood allowed. Hey, hey, hey. No smoking. we're going to play for you is called TV Psychic! Okay, for this game, what's going to happen is we're going to put Zach in some soundproof, noise-canceling headphones so he can't hear. We need to get a couple of suggestions from you guys, and uh, our improvisers are going to try and help Zach to guess what prompts is going on. He's going to be playing the role of a psychic, and they just need to help him guess that as if he were a psychic. So let me get a couple things from over here. So what relationship does the deceased person have to the family? Could be any relationship. Gardener. Who is this person that uh, Zach's communicating with? Batman. Say that last one. Batman. 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 <laughs> yeah. Give me a special memory that, that this family had with Batman that isn't Batman related. I heard when they went to Disneyland. Whenever you're ready, Zach, take it away. Hello, y'all. Thank you so much. I am so honored to be here during this special time. Uh, I don't really believe in this stuff, but these guys say you can prove me wrong. I'm feeling energy from your family that they didn't like you very much. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, besides that negative energy, there's going to be, I'm feeling a strong uh, uh, gender-specific energy. Uh, I'm feeling a male energy. Oh, oh that's great. That's, oh, that's him. That's got to be him. Oh, I knew it's male. I knew it's a strong man. Uh -huh. A strong man. Oh, so Extreme. strong. So wow. strong. Uh, this person was important to you, I he imagine. He was important to the whole city. Yes. Yeah, uh, the, uh, a mayor. A mayor of sorts. Uh, mm -hmm. Some mayor. sort of municipal. I'm getting a municipal feeling energy. <laughs> uh, some sort of uh, maybe a vigilante. Of, he cared about the city. A, vi oh, a, vigilante, a vigilante of kinds. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, perhaps you wore a cowl and a mask. Uh, was yeah. it bat? I feel like a Batman type of energy. Yeah, right. 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 You were so close with him. You know how close we were, right? So much. Uh, you were uh, blood related. Uh, we were? What? But just that? that's. <laughs> I didn't know. He was Sorry. an orphan. I. Sorry, no, you spilt blood together. Uh, as platonic friends, as yeah. friends, you guys, uh, yeah. you were neighbors, uh, obviously, several cities away, uh, and I'm just feeling that sort of energy here. You were very close, yeah, I felt very like. Close. You guys grew up in the orphanage well, together. Well, there was a lot of growing, for sure, but... Uh, yeah. You guys were puberty buddies, you just said, hey, you're going through puberty, I'm, I'm, well, I'm feeling sort of a pubescent energy, at least it's something within there. Uh, I'm sorry, that's me. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. He's been having a He's, uh, uh, he's, uh, I'm, I'm seeing a letter, uh, uh, uh specifically about uh, your background. I'm seeing it's a, it's an English letter. Gee whiz, he's good. 
G. Yeah. I pick it up a G. Oh, that's so a good. A G. Gotham. You guys met in Gotham. I, I, I think you got to get back to the root of the problem. Yeah. 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 I mean, how did we cultivate this relationship? In a garden, obviously. You guys were oh. gardeners. Oh, well, we were, obviously. <laughs> you starting to believe yet? You starting Maybe to a believe little, yet? but there's. I have this special memory with our oh, with our good gardener. Uh, Batman is is telling me this sweet special memory. It involved food. I'm getting yeah. a big food it, energy, okay. he, which he Pretty ate before yeah. he did the thing with yeah. you guys. He he could afford to to get food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Most people can't. No, Why? they can't. They well, just have they, to starve or eat each other. I'm, I'm, I hope he's just as happy now as he was then during this memory. Yes. Yeah. I, well, he's not. He's dead. And. Oh. Uh, <laughs> But he he's very happy, happy about this. Memory. He remembers yeah. a bright, shiny day. He remembers you were wearing clothes that were shorter than some. That's very uh, true. Uh, yep. you know, it was a weekend, and that's what yeah. I wear on weekends. However, I don't know if you can tell that he's happy. In all the pictures that we took, we were all screaming, and he was just stone-faced. Stone yeah, he Absolute was not a fan face. of Disneyland at all. Oh, there you go! Good. Good. Uh, the next game we're going to play is World's Worst. <laughs> How this works is uh, I'm going to get some prompts from you guys. Our players are going to jump out and show you the worst version of those things. So over here, give me a profession uh, that you don't see every day. Got it. I got it. I may not look like I got it, but I can hear all of you. Somebody just kept repeating, customer service representative. So let's see that. No! No! Uh, yeah, yeah, that coffin's gonna be perfect for your, yeah, you're gonna love it, yeah. Uh, why are you crying? <laughs> so weird. Uh, but yeah, it'll be perfect for you. Yeah, it'll fit Ronald McDonald. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, hold on, my hot pockets. I just heard the microwave beep. Hold on just a second. Now's my chance to shine. Oh, you are listening to the holding music. <laughs> it's just me. Sorry, uh, I'm back. Did you enjoy the holding music? <laughs> <laughs> Who's worst dental assistant? And that's gas for you, gas for me. <laughs> gas for you. I don't know why your gums are bleeding. You should floss more. <laughs> okay, uh, give me a give me a relationship. Neighbor. neighbor, world's worst neighbor. Hey, neighbor, sweet flowers. <laughs> Good, give me a life event you might run into. Sadness. World's worst first kiss. No, 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 I'm pretty sure we keep our eyes wide open so we can see the kiss. <laughs> Expecto Patrona! Event. One more life event. First child. Uh, world, first, first child. First, uh, first child. World, world's worst first child. Don't worry, ma'am. I took first team all state. <laughs> and then this one, Albert Jubra. No, no. we're going to play for you is Musical Country Hygiene! 
How this game works is Zach and David are going to start out in a scene. While that scene is taking place, Brady and Adam are going to be on some noise-canceling headphones. They won't be able to hear anything that's going on in the scene, but then, once the scene has wrapped, they're going to have to recreate what they think the scene was all about. Uh, with no verbal cues, no verbal hints, anything like that. So what I need is, uh, uh, give me a pastime that you really enjoy. Something, something a hobby or a... There were two suggestions for knitting, so wow. let's, uh, let's do that. Ready, take it away! Oh, coach. What is it, Johnson? It's 10 minutes to the game. <laughs> Where's your jersey? I'm not ready. I can't believe knitting is now an Olympic sport. <laughs> okay. All right. What do you think of it? <laughs> how did I you... you were here? To... How did you get through the preliminaries? How? You taught me how. I just spelled that what I think of you in knitting. Read that back to yourself. You are so weak, it's hard to believe you can knit. Oh! <laughs> Johnson, I want you to put the physical kneading needles away, and I want you to pick up the needles of your heart. Close your eyes. Okay. What's the thread made of? Solid gold. Yes. <laughs> Wait. Northern Scotland. Wool sheared from a lamb. Yes. About the... <laughs> About yay big. Yes. <laughs> Work with that. Mold it. <laughs> Rub it into twine. Feel the strands coming forth in your hands. Feel the needles coming through. You got a needle in. Yes, it's happening today. Come up in your eyes and what do you see? Beauty. Give it up! Very good! Now we are going to see what, what Adam and Brady saw. Take it away. Oh, geez, I'm so nervous to be working here at Pretzel Maker. <laughs> As all, I've almost finished salting all of the individual doughs. Oh, gosh. I think it was a really bad idea to leave both of us here on our first days. <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, I, I mean, we got to just Oh, that was beautiful. I mean, look at mine. It's still just a straight line. But it drips down in a message. Can you read it? Do you want nacho cheese with that? That's amazing. It's a sign we should always upsell. Well, let me see if I can do the same thing. Hold on, let me see if I can spell something. You can't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Teach me the ways. How am I ever supposed to climb to the top of the ranks of pretzel maker if I can't? It's okay. We all have different talents. Some of us salt, some of us spell. Some of us make the most. You beautiful. salt and spell. Some of us are much more talented than some of the others. <laughs> but some of us make beautiful, beautiful designs. Teach me the ways. You reach down deep. You reach down into your soul. You pull out the pretzel. You lift it up. And you drop it, drop it low. You wind it, wind it round. And then here we go. You gotta feel the pretzel within. You gotta feel that bow within. Start to spell. What does it say now? You begin. I've only typed in Braille. <laughs> right there, guys! Give it up!
right, did you guys have a good time tonight? <laughs> Check out our improvisers, Brady Adams.